Hello, hi guys. So this is my first video and we are just making this video for the sake of guidance for the people who are tr trying to apply for women's STEM scholarship. So the first thing um, about our introduction, I'm Irha Parishe. I'm one of the STEM scholars. I came to London. I'm studying at Middlesex University and I'm from Pakistan and I'm with... I'm Eva Chaudhary. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm also a STEM scholar. I'm studying at Middlesex University in MSc Computer Science. Okay, and I'm doing a master's in business information systems management. So last year they had Middlesex as well in the uh, list of universities that you could apply for STEM for scho uh, Women in STEM scholarship. So let's give the introduction about what is STEM and Women in STEM scholarship. So Women in STEM, STEM, scholarship, women in STEM scholarship is basically designed by British, uh, is provided by British, British Council. Council. And uh, you know what they do is that they are trying to hunt passionate women who are very passionate regarding you know fields of STEM, in STEM and like and what does STEM mean? STEM means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So if you're someone who's very enthusiastic for this field, so you can explore this scholarship, and uh, it it covers everything. So what does it cover? Usually people think, oh, what does it pay? It would cover your whole tuition fees. It would cover your you know tickets from your home to your you know, round trip, yeah, from, yeah round and trip. everything, every uh, single time you spend on your admission, they will pay you back and they would also give you a stipend so that you could afford your housing and, you know, to your food, for your food and a little bit of lifestyle and which is good enough, like we, we are happy yeah, with we what we are happy we, with what we are getting and yeah. every time we ha need any help, the STEM team always there yeah, to yeah. help, help yeah, us. And, and also, if we need anything, we can like directly contact with British Council. So they're supporting us fully for anything we need. Like it can be health, financial, mental, anything, everything. So it's I think it's a very good opportunity for girls, especially from we are from like South Asia. So yeah. South Asian girls who are actually they suffer like their family doesn't support them financially for for further studies. So they can try this out if they fulfill all the requirements. Okay. So the first thing that people ask, like, are we eligible? So the first thing is the most important thing mm -hmm. is that you should be not a dual national. You should be a citizen of this country's mansion. So I will mention the link below in the description so you can go and check out the universities that are eligible and the eligibility criteria because there are certain uh, criteria. Yeah, and for another main one is like you cannot study in UK before. Yeah, this yeah. should be our first time coming to UK yes, yes, to yes, study. Yes, yes. So you should read all those terms and conditions. Um, yes. So when you, so the thing is, that you cannot apply to every university. So there are certain universities. This year, I think there are only three universities that they have shortlisted for yeah, South Asia. For South Asia yeah. yeah. So in the link, you can see that and what programs are they offering? They do not offer a scholarship on every program. All the program. Yeah. So there are certain programs that they have selected from each university. So the first. So there are certain steps. The first thing is to you have to secure the admission into the certain course that mm -hmm. that is mentioned over there. So once you have secured the admission, then you can apply for that scholarship. And uh, people usually say, how should we, you know, make ourselves uh, eligible for that course? It's all about just go to their criteria. Yeah, just and just, follow the website yes. and see the requirements, the requirements and just then apply. But go through it very like. You know precisely so see yeah. the modules and uh, if you're interested or not yeah let's check everything then apply then apply yeah and also even if this you mm -hmm. are not completely on the uh, requirement checklist uh what is but if you can show your passion towards that course so that definitely could be you know in your added in your personal statement so once you have secured uh you know admission into a course then there would be a, there would be an interview and uh, uh, no before the interview you would have to apply for a scholarship and they would give you a form most probably yeah, and it's you a have form to, with five questions with five questions you have to write five essays like paragraphs you applied in two universities right yeah so it was the same in both universities uh no the other university had two three questions extra but the main concept like how are you going to develop your country how what's your okay. experience those are the main basic questions and every university has that okay so let's come out to what are what should we add into our questions and what should add we add in our personal statements. So the first thing is that your passion and your personal motivation towards the field of STEM. That is very important. Right. That how did it you know ignite it and where did it come from? What's the reason of pursuing this degree? And obviously London and so and the country. So which 
city in which university are you applying to you should be very well rational about it yeah okay yeah. why i'm applying to this university because if you do if you're just applying for the sake of applying they would not love you they want the passion in you that yeah. you really want to get in i wanted to get in middlesex london because i wanted to go to in a university which is in london because it's diverse nice. and it's you know help you to come in. and i could i'm not a person who could live in dead places so other universities though they are good but they are not in a you know metropolitan city so which could kind of give me depression and stuff so this was my uh, first preference and i only applied in middlesex and i'm the like got it so the first thing is your preference the second thing is about your professional career growth how this degree and this university will help you to achieve your you know your career trajectory what you want to achieve in your life not just in uk but also most importantly in your back in your country how will it help you do succeed in life because if it's not going to help you in your career growth then it's useless to do a degree yeah so it's about your experience as well you should have relevant experience yes. in your field like where which subject you're applying for you should have i think at least one year of work experience because i had one year of work experience and they actually asked me during my interview whether how do you work did i work and how was my job so that's also important okay. and also the you should know uh, should like right it should be seen in your writing that why do you need this scholarship yes. that's very important yes like it can be financial of course it should be financial financial problem is the biggest the biggest reason, one yeah, biggest, okay, biggest okay. reason to get the scholarship and why is it like you cannot just say that oh i'm poor yeah, yeah that's, that's that's not, not the thing you yeah. have to tell why you want to and yeah. one of the most important thing is in you I, so for me what i wrote in my personal statement that i actually wrote what my <clears throat> job titles and what i actually achieved in that journey I, i'm deserving that you know that uh, under that title so and i was very really quantified though so i you know quantified my achievement i just didn't write oh i did that and did that I, I rather i quantified you know achievements so for example i was ju- junior brand manager junior lever for wall so for e-commerce so what i did for e-commerce and you know for, for what i did in jazz when i was working back in my country so that is very important so people would know that the person what is talking about does know what she wants to do so the one other thing is that the most important thing is that how would you help women in back in your, your country, country to pursue field of stem mm-hmm. so i'm not going to give you hints or to give you any tips because it should be very personal to you because the more it would be personal and more it would be passionate from your heart it would stand out because otherwise if i give some tips over here everybody would copy paste and write it what i written in my field or what yeah, you yeah. wrote it and it, then it won't make you stand out and believe me just write it from your heart and uh, it doesn't matter what your english looks like the people think oh the personal statement should be very you know highly yeah grammar. but actually this scholarship also offers you to to they will pay for your ielts if yes. you want to yes so you can if you just if you say that oh i don't have my ielts i want to give my ielts they're going to pay for it as well because uh this is also a thing right yeah. and if you are a mother they also pay for pay, your child yes, as yes. well so if you're a mother and if you have yeah. some if you know you want to bring your children over here they would sponsor your children as well and mm-hmm. they would i guess give you the nursery nursery fee or nursery like stipend as well so like they are really accommodating if you can show you want to succeed in life in the field of stem girl you should have lied over here yeah. so it this is the best opportunity so usually the deadlines is by march, march end of end of march or then by the end of february some universities but you have to go and check the each university it's not the same no, yeah the scholarship deadline is march end yeah. of march but the universities have different deadlines right yeah so you should follow that and apply for the university because you need offer like yeah but apply. i also saw when i was looking at different universities like every university has a different deadline for application of new uh, scholarship as well really yeah oh i didn't see that yeah so so just focus on the and if you have any confusion reach out to the university yes. for us middlesex coordinators were amazing they were amazingly helpful if i had any confusion i was like tata tata tell, tell me this they would be like okay girl you have to do this and this that and okay, so this is it so once you have submitted your um, you know your application the next step would be your interview if they would if you would be shortlisted they would be tell you over the email the thing i am laughing is that when i received my acceptance email i was in my washroom i was about to take shower and i came out of the shower like yeah i got the scholarship i got it i was shortlisted i was so happy i was jumping all around anyways so the point is after that it would be interview 
the interview would not be very formal in no, one like uh, just a 10 minutes yeah. like introduction text yeah. like just yeah. tell about yourself yeah. what you achieve just yeah. g- general basic questions nothing, nothing in more. particular but you should know what you have written on yes. your essay yes <laughs> so don't make any someone write it for you yeah it should come from you because they are going to ask you those questions again okay. in the interview yeah and you should be very very um thoughtful of what you're saying and very clear you should not try to you know say i will break the stars mm-hmm. and do that this is yeah. not realistic be realistic what you want to do and <clears throat> obviously when you are stating something give referencing is a very good thing if mm-hmm. you refer some research or something that would be a bullseye yeah. so it shows that a person is you know interested in certain fields so yeah personally i wanted to do something in management of digital products and this way how where i'm what i'm doing in my degree and she likes programming so she first way bad i love her okay <laughs> so she's my best friend so this it is so funny how we met yeah, like exactly. we, <laughs> we were preparing for our cast interview and you know i wrote did no I, no i asked a question during the cast interview like the preparation thing i asked a question about the scholarship because uh, about the visa procedure and all and then she replied she wrote it in the chat that okay my answer, uh, i got my answer already so i just knew that okay she also got stem scholarship because she wrote something about stem yeah so and then i just searched her on facebook and then like who is this hot girl <laughs> coming <laughs> no of course not you know that i just wrote hey did you get this scholarship blah uh, that's how we met yeah. and and i love yeah. her yeah love keep you. my love over here okay you know i'm going to tell her future plans <laughs> Okay, so coming back, so girls, hurry up, apply for the scholarship, and you know if you need any help, comments below on my, yeah. I might be. And there is also a Facebook group, I think, for British Council Women in STEM. You can yeah. join that group as yeah, well yeah. for any information. Yes. Because I've seen students are posting questions there, and yeah. some people do answer. Yeah. So that's yeah. very helpful as well. And our DMs are open. We will try to make another video of F and F and F and. Q and A, Q and A. Sorry, <laughs> FAQ. So if you have any Q and A, so we will make it another video for that. Till then, best of luck, and mm-hmm. I wish you all the best. Come, this is an amazing journey. It's, it gives you so much opportunities. Yeah, one thing people would say, can we stay back in UK? No, nope. no. But yeah, there are certain things that can make you stay. You just read the terms, co- and, terms and condition, and if you apply for PhD, then you can stay for. Yeah, uh, you can extend your stay as well. Yeah. But it all depends upon your case. So best of luck, guys. Thank Ta-ta, you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.